former Temple University employee. By the way, I told you I lived in Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, but, uh, you know, that's in Philadelphia, uh, Temple University. I dated a girl from Temple, great university, but uh, gave her pills, left her incapacitated before he performed sexual acts on her without her consent. Constant and Cosby met while she was the director for the women's basketball team in Temple. Uh, and the Cosby's Philadelphia uh, alum, uh, the, the pair developed uh, what uh, Constant believed to be a sincere friendship. And Constant eventually looked to the older comedian as a mentor, according to court documents. But then uh, she was taken advantage of when she was drugged. So here it is, they're trying to get this 80-year-old. And you know, folks, doesn't matter how old you are, karma has a way of catching up and look at O.J. Simpson. I don't believe these 60 women, all of them, every single one of them, all had fishtails. I, I may, maybe some of them, but not all of them. Uh, look, even media giants fall. The, the allegations and uh, Rupert, um, Rupert uh, Murdoch there at Fox News and se sexual allegations for Bill O'Reilly. It's just too many years, too many people coming forward and uh, bringing that information to light. It's just, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're a predator is uh, what, you, what you really become. It's just, to me, uh, a, a really sad chapter and a man who was extremely sought after in, in just so many different ways. And I, I, I would guess that there's people that have decided they didn't want to see him again. He still actually goes, when he's not sitting trial or doing things, still goes out and tells jokes. And uh, I just would find it hard to believe to sit there and have those warm fuzzy thoughts about an individual that did those particular things to women because how horrible it is to know that a person did that and put you to sleep and God knows what happened to you. And people, when they go to surgery, they're given, you know, anesthesia or whatever it is uh, to put you to sleep, put you under. And uh, a lot of people are frustrated. They don't know what happened to them. All they know is they were being operated. I, I don't think I'd want to be awake, but that's the only time that you'd want to be missing. Otherwise, you'd like to be in control of what happens. And these women certainly did not have a say other than Bill Cosby himself. And certainly I think the guy needs to be made an example of that this stuff should never, ever be tolerated. And to me, on these rape cases, there should be no statute of limitations. This is uh, as bad as uh, a murder, in my opinion, because it rips the soul out of an individual. I've sp I've spoken to women that have been raped, and it ruins them. I mean, they can get on, they can have families of their own and, and, and forge new relationships, but they never forget it, and they're never the same. Never the same. Um, they live with guilt. Uh, shame, uh, feel disgusting. It's just if you've ever talking, uh, spoken to somebody that uh, has this happen to, it's a, really just a sad thing. So uh, Dr. Huxtable, Bill Cosby, I think we'll just call you Bill Cosby right now, and we'll just let Dr. Huxtable do his thing. As I don't think uh, all the networks have canceled the show since all these uh, allegations started, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the court and everything saying that there could be something viable here. They decided to cancel it. So they're not showing it anymore. I don't even think fat Albert's being shown anymore. I haven't seen any of the shows, anything advertised going through the channels. Yeah. I don't think there's any fat Albert. That was a fun show. Yeah. But I, again, I, I just can't get the warm fuzzies. Is it just me? Uh, but to me, I have a, a tremendous respect for women and I just think that this is a lousy thing to do. And a lot of these women, folks, uh, were looking up for a mentor for him, especially this young lady at Temple. And he took advantage of her. And it happens. It's, just, it's not an anomaly. 
Some get caught, some don't. And I think Cosby, I'm sure he's shocked at 80 years old saying, oh, my God, I thought I got, I thought I got away with it. I thought I did. I'm 80 years old, and uh, here I am in court. And how embarrassing. How embarrassing, I would think. How embarrassing. And, and for his wife, I mean, you know, a few women, but 60 women, come on. She's got to know. It's kind of like Bill Clinton. Bill had an affair? Oh, my God, I'm shocked. I'm sure Hillary Clinton was not saying that. Um, I know that specifically because we knew what happened in Arkansas. We had his brother, Roger Clinton. I will never forget this. This is circa 1990s. For anybody that was, and and Chuck did the interview, by the way. But I was at the Telford Hotel when this happened, when Chuck was doing the interview. and. Chuck was asking him questions and uh, about Bill Clinton's nose being red all the time and stuff like that. And he goes, yeah, my brother's got a nose like a vacuum cleaner. And Chuck would say, well, what do you mean by that? He goes, what do I mean? Like, we do lines. And Chuck uh, said, what do you mean by that? He goes, cocaine. You know, that's what we call lines. We put cocaine out of the table and <laughs> snort it up. My ne- and that's what Bill Clinton and Roger used to do. They used to do lines together. Well, after that interview... And several interviews that he did around the country, they got rid of him. When was the last time you heard Roger Clinton? Yeah, they they put him on an island somewhere, and uh, he he shut up. They 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 threat. I'm sure they had to have threatened him, gave him some money, and said never ever ever again give any interviews whatsoever. Here's some money. Go away. Sign here. I am so certain that's what happened. Here's a question. And this is a good question because, you know, we've talked about computer hacking and being careful and mindful. We just know that uh, cyber threats are real. And my frustration yesterday, if you listen to the broadcast, about all these collisions out to sea and especially with our naval vessels. But a a top U.S. Naval, Naval Admiral speaking out. For a swift and thorough investigation into Monday's collision of the USS John S. McCain into an oil tanker near Singapore. How did that crash into it? We we don't know. But uh, Admiral John Richardson saying the possibility of cyber intrusion or sabotage possibility He said, indications right now, but reviews will consider all possibilities. He ordered an operational pause in all fleets around the world while the Navy works to determine the factors behind the collision. Richardson tweeted that the Navy will conduct a wide investigation, including a review into the possibility of cyber intrusion of sabotage. Admiral Phil Davidson, the head of the Navy's fleet forces, will lead the investigation. Could be a part of the world loves to hack into the computers. And that could be a possibility. Because you say there's just too many of this stuff going on where people, how do they not see this? We got computers, we have radar that would indicate when something's approaching. We got people on deck. Is nobody paying attention? Is nobody listening? I mean, these ships are not just a thousand dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. Unbelievable amount of money, and man, the damage and the money that's costing is ridiculous. But I just thought that was an interesting angle. Uh, could it be sabotages with somebody hacking into the naval computers, causing these accidents? As uh, one possibility, they don't, they, they're just looking at everything. But yeah, just, uh, you know, I'm not in the Navy. I know people that are, and they're baffled. How does this happen? And there's no really good answers right now. But I think with them saying, hey, we're just going to halt uh, the Navy fleet and forces and uh, shut this down until we can figure out what happens and nothing else does happen like this to this magnitude. We don't want more sailors killed. What in the world is going on here? Is, uh, Is it just bad luck? I mean, bad things happen. 
freak accidents happen? Was it just a bad year for the Navy? Quinkadink? Uh, I'm just guessing that there's got to be something more to it. Uh, that, that could be a scenario. And believe me, that's, man, if you can get into somebody's computer and you can bug it, and make it think it's doing something it's not doing. I mean, that, that that certainly would be a good answer. But the other thing is, is there's always somebody on these big ships uh, that there's port watch or uh, starboard watch, which you wonder why there was all these sailors missing. Was it just that the, the, the hole, they got sucked out of a hole? Or was some, some people, because of the jolt, were actually thrown because they weren't hardest in on deck? You know, heavy seas. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you're out to sea uh, and heavy seas, rough seas, it's standard practice on most vessels that you actually harness yourself in. But how do these guys in the first place, that hasn't been talked about. I'm guessing that will come out in in the investigation. Were were they all on deck or some thrown out of a hole? Those details haven't come out yet. I don't know. But these are some of the questions that I would ask if I was interviewing them. But uh, that's why they're going to send out their best investigators to find this app. But but having our, uh, our our boys, our women dying like this is just, it's very, very sad. I pray that they come to find what has caused this and hopefully to rectify these issues. Because, again, it's happening way too often. Way too often. And this shouldn't be. By the way, this half hour is brought to you by 123 Ready TV. You may have heard me talk about this app, and it's an app that works on your phone or on your personal computer. And why am I talking about it? Why I'm talking about it is I'm excited about it. And when I'm excited about something, I like to share it. So if you find something that really is magnificent, that's what you do. You share it. Now, from one friend to another, 123 Ready TV as a magnificent entertainment portal. What it does is it allows you to access all the movies that have ever practically been produced in this app. And how does it work? It works through the Internet. See, the Internet streams all of these movies. It's out there somewhere. It finds it. That's right. 123 Ready finds it and puts it right in your lap, so to speak. You sift through the movies, find the movie that you want, and you access it, and there it is. Quickly, without commercials, perfect quality. Every time. And you're asking how much this thing costs. Unbelievably priced at nineteen ninety nine, Not monthly, just one time nineteen ninety nine allows you to full access to all of these movies, plus... All the TV shows that you could ever watch. It's all that entertainment for $19.99. Why don't you have it? ForThePeopleShow.com. Click on the store page. Download your copy today. Everyone should have this app. And if you're without it, you're spending way too much money. If you're like me, save your money. Be practical with your money. $19.99 gets you 123 Ready TV. Watch the video before you buy it. You'll see how easy it is to navigate, to operate this thing. Again, it works on your personal computer and on Android devices. Take advantage of this opportunity now at ForThePeopleShow.com. Click on the store page. Get your 123 Ready TV. Man, I, I couldn't live without it either. This is, uh, it's, <laughs> it is too cool. By the way, uh, I want to do, uh, a little uh, shopkeeping here um, at the studio today, here for a, a Tuesday. Um, update on Chuck. I had mentioned the first hour where we're at. We raised the money. We had uh, a, an extra push at the end. Appreciate that. Raised uh, seven ninety nine. actually some over that, to buy some accessories, which was just amazing. So thank you to all who contributed to make a difference, to bring some joy and uh, some love into the founder of the broadcast, Chuck Carter, who, who finds himself in a nursing home bedridden. And, uh, he was under the weather this weekend. So otherwise we would have presented it to him, but he's just, uh, not feeling well. I guess this, he had stomach, stomach issues. 
And so hopefully uh, the next week or two, we'll find out how he's feeling towards 